Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up on this lovely day. It was lovely. Seriously, I'm going to talk about that uh, Tuesday, <laughs> June 5th, 2018. Yes, I am wearing a casual outfit here. Uh, I'm kind of out the door, but I just want to get this video out and cover a couple of things. Well, just yesterday... Some some guy around here, maybe me, uh, said that we were going to see new records for the markets very soon. Well, that's exactly what happened today. <laughs> the Nasdaq closed at a record high today, uh, and the Russell 2000 also closed at a record high. You don't want to even know how many people wrote to me yesterday after I said that and told me how wrong I was and even posted on this video. Um, the video I did from yesterday, that is. Um, look, when, when you want to argue this kind of stuff and tell me I'm wrong, please tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, Greg, you're wrong because I don't, because of this. Not just Greg, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Um, no. Anyway, uh, it was a crazy day. The market was all over the place. Uh, started out of the gate, gates was, uh, the market was slightly higher. We did go down almost 100 points on the Dow. Stop focusing on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Look at the broader indexes. It's important. Um, anyway, the market finished, as I had outlined, with new records for two um, indexes today. So, this is why today was kind of interesting, seriously. So, you know what they did this morning. They were buying up those bonds a little bit. They started buying a little bit more. The dollar weakened. Speaking of that, I want, to tell, I want to address that real quick. Once that dynamic played out, dollar got weaker, buying up some bonds, boom. That's why we got new records today with regard to the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000. It's so easy. Now, to make this even easier for you, I got a lot of requests for this, and I'm sorry I just got around to it. If you go to my website, traderschoice.net, there's a link here in the description of this video. You will find the stock market chart, a bond market chart, and a U.S. dollar chart just underneath it. So now you can watch everything on one page. If you notice, if you look at those charts, each one is in a slightly different timeline. There is a reason for that. Greg did not lose his mind. It is my observation that things react differently. In other words, you get the bond market will do something, then the dollar will follow a little way later, and then the stock market. So I set it up like that on purpose. Please take advantage of it for yourself. It's not for me. I understand all this stuff. It's for you. And if you're not sure of how to use it, Watch those charts over several trading days before you put any mo real money to work here. Um, that's the truth. Me, what did I do today? Let's talk about what Greg did today. So, when um, the S&P 500 was kind of near the lows of the day, and I was watching that dollar kind of sell off, um, they were buying up those bonds, I took a small position up there, I added to that twice. On the way up, I had a nice day. Let's put it that way. Um, but it's it's kind of interesting. Think about why I did that. I waited very patiently for a few things to fall in place. It was important. The dollar strength this morning didn't like it. We wanted to see that sell off. Well, the dollar did sell off. Bonds kept getting bid up. So you know how this works. Once you see these things happen, stocks will generally go up. And that's exactly what happened today. Boom. Dow finished lower, as we know. Forget about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's 30 freaking companies, people. All right? You want to look at the broader indexes. Period. Very simple. I, I hope this makes sense to you because I don't want you to lose. I want you to win like you have no idea. It's the truth. And uh, I don't know. You know what I always say? We are all responsible for each other. We are a brother's keeper. Um... And I love all you guys and girls. It's really the truth. Sorry about the noise in the background. They are building houses right across the street. And it's really loud. All right, with that said, 
See you tomorrow. It's going to be lovely.